Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to do a quick intro to the tilt shift filter. What the tilt shift filter does is it applies or makes you, uh, gives you the effect of a miniature toy diorama look to your images uh, like I've done here with these images. It's a very cool little effect. Uh, it, and it looks like you're working with a, with, a, with a toy scene rather than a real life scene. Uh, tilt shift was mainly used, or is sorry, is used in architectural photography. The tilt and the shift uh, keeps the vertical lines of the building straight, rather than it having you know look like it's all leaning towards the middle. Um, over time, photographers started playing around with it and coming up with this cool um, with this cool effect, and it became so popular that Photoshop uh, added the filter to uh, to the software. So anyone can produce the, the effect uh, with their images. So let me show you how I did it. It's very easy, very simple. Let me go into Photoshop now. So this is the image I'm going to use. A couple of pointers. Um, it's best to use an image taken from above and something with a lot of detail uh, in the foreground, background, like a lot of buildings, people, uh, things like that. So like I said, this is the image I'm going to use. I'm going to go into uh, layers, right click, and I'm going to duplicate uh, the layer because I want to work in a non-destructive way. So if I don't like the effect, I can just remove the duplicated uh, layer instead of starting all over again. Then I'm going to go into filter, uh, blur gallery, and click on tilt shift. Now here's the interface, uh, this is the main interface I, I like using, there's also one here, the, the dialog box here on the right here, so let me start here first. Now these, sol these two solid lines are where, there's gonna, where we're going to have the sharp area of the image. I can move it around by clicking in the middle here, in this middle circle here, and just move it anywhere I want on the image. I generally uh, put the, the sharp area where there's a lot of detail, where there's a, like for example a lot of people, a lot of buildings, things like that. It doesn't have to be horizontal, depending on your image you can also tilt it, hence the tilt shift. Um, uh, uh, the sharp area, you can, you, can, you can tilt it any way you like. I like to give it a little bit of a tilt, uh, so I like it that way. Now I'm going to rush through this, like, uh, like I said before, take your time when it comes to doing your photo. Um, Another thing, this, these dotted lines, this determines how much of the compression I wanted. Obviously, the closer I bring it to, to the, you can do the bottom here as well. The closer I bring it to the, to the sharp area, the more compressed the, uh, the image becomes or the effect gets enhanced. I try to not do it too close. I try to keep it just evenly on both sides and not too far out either, just slightly. Uh, close to, to the to the sharp area. Now again, take your time. You can determine how much of that you want to do when it comes to your photo. Now you can, um, to enhance the, the effect a bit more, you can add a lot of blur. And see this this area here? This is actually to control the amount of blur you want to add to the uh, above the um, solid line. So if I click on it and move around to that, now that's the highest amount of blur you get. I generally try to keep it at about 30. Again, depending on your photo and how much of the how much of the effect you want to enhance, you can add the amount of blur you want. This same here, this same can be adjusted here in the dialog box on the right hand side here with the slider. It does the same thing as this uh, this uh, this what we did here in this circle area. So I just want to keep it about thirty, and if once I'm happy with that, I just click on OK. And now it's going to apply the filter. There it is. There. Let me hide the uh, the the filter layer. So that's the original image. Now I'm going to bring back the layer I applied the filter, and there it is. Now just to sell it a little bit more, I'm going to apply go to adjustment layer, apply a Huey Sat, and I'm just going to crank up the Huey too much, just to make it just to make the scene look like it's a toy diorama. Um, just to sell that. Uh, you know, it actually helps sell, sell the effect a bit more. That's it guys, uh, I hope you got something out of that. Um, please don't forget to comment below, let, uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my um, channel and 
hit that bell icon to be notified of more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.